Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to change out the roller pin bushing or, or hinge roller on a 2007 to 2013 GM Silverado slash GMC trucks. Uh, tools you're going to need, 13 millimeter socket, uh, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, and an 11 millimeter socket also this push uh i'm sorry uh this punch well, this one in particular is three eighths the dormant part number will be in the description it comes with the replacement roller and this tool that's to compress that spring uh i did it without removing this uh door panel but i did use a jack to support my door and i did remove the hinge First thing you're gonna do, 13 millimeter wrench, undo this bolt in the front. It's got five here and that one, so six all together. Uh, then after you remove this one, you're gonna want to remove this one right here, back here on the bottom. The way you do that is you go like this, slightly close it, and fit in your small quarter inch wrench underneath it with the 13 millimeter socket like so and you're just gonna have to work it right there all right till it comes on and off then the third one you remove you guessed it the one behind this one back there that's the third one so by then you'll have freed this which means you should be supporting from right here even though you still got that one bolt you should already be supporting it with your jack the next thing you're going to want to do is remove these two which are the 10 millimeters you could use an open end wrench with the ratchet or you can do you know same thing like that by that point you should already have your door open all the way again the only time you need to halfway close your door is to get to this bottom one that's the only time after that you'll have it all the way open it's going to stay like this supported by the jack once you remove these two and you've already removed these three then you're going to want to use an extension and a 13 millimeter socket to remove that final one back there like so bam extension and a 13 millimeter socket once you've got them out you're going to want to use a hacksaw to cut this old one off well first of all you're gonna you know use this to compress the spring and take it off once you got the spring off and everything use a hacksaw it has on this side i believe it has a little cross hatching on the top that's the pinned side a cross hatching so you're going to want to cut as close as you can you know to that pin on the other side so that you can th then insert the punch through here and with the hammer punch out the old one bam i what i did was i cut it in two just to make my make it easier on me so i cut it like this it was originally like like this i cut it right here and then i cut the pin with a little cross on top cut that off so this was all free pretty much and then i punched it halfway out this came out as you can see usually what wears down is this right here you can see a little bit of a groove in it not exactly perfectly per circular it's got a groove and that's why it wouldn't turn anymore the bushing itself was actually pretty damn fine so once you punch it out put a little bit of grease on the little teeth right here on the new one make sure this is face down the little groove uh, pull it through make sure that your door hinge thingy is on that side because it can't come to this side while you're doing it and you know just use your 11 millimeter with an extension going through here put your 11 millimeter your extension and just uh tying it through once you got that on go ahead and grease your fitting and then install everything in the reverse order so once you get it like this you'll have it supported you'll be able to pull this door apart a little bit to get the hinge back in the same way once you got it you can kind of move move this like that and pull it although you do have it supported don't go crazy with it it'll slide down same way it'll slide up and once you've got it up there, same thing you want to do. First, you want to use that bolt just to hold it in place. Don't tighten it. Nothing's tight. 
Then you're going to want to put this one in and you're going to barely get it with your fingers using both hands. One hand through here, the other hand through here. Both middle fingers reaching in and barely fucking tightening it. And once you got that one in there, do the same thing for the back one. But don't, you know, don't tighten anything yet. So once you got those in there started, go ahead and tighten up your top one. Just a little bit. Leave it just hardly snug. To where you can then tighten these two. And you can move this door up and down if you need to. And once you got those two tight, go ahead and uh, let off of your jack. And... Swing your door back around, do the bottom rear. Once you got the bottom rear, swing your door open again, do this one, and finally tighten that one. Or, you know, you can tighten that one before you do these ones. No, before you do that one back here. So, first, second, and third. And it doesn't matter if you do this one fourth or that one fourth, and then this one's the last one. Alrighty, hope that helped you guys. Sorry for not showing you anything, but at least hope I explained.